Hey everybody, thank you for checking out my review for this Zomi aluminum tripod. I actually bought this because I am gone from my house for about a month. Um, I'm, I'm on a trip for school and I needed a tripod and I, I normally use a Manfrotto. I, I'm really big into photography. I've used the Manfrotto for years and I love those. Those tripods are amazing, um, but it's big, bulky and heavy. So I decided to pick up a travel tripod and I'm actually super, super impressed with this tripod. So I wanted to throw this review up for you. I'm gonna start here um, with the case itself. So the case that comes with it, I was really surprised at the quality of this thing. It is really, really good quality. It's thick material. It's not gonna fall apart on you when you're traveling. Um, it's actually even padded on the inside here. You can see that it has really good straps here to hold it. Um, it also comes with a shoulder strap, which makes life a lot easier as well. The zipper's heavy duty as well. Um, like I said, the, right off the bat, I was super impressed with, with even just the bag that it comes in. So this is the tripod itself here. Um, it comes with some instructions. Comes with this other piece that can either be used as an extension um, or it can be used if you need like a, a smaller um, bar right here in the center. So, um, and then, so this is just the, the mount that I use for my camera. So the, like I said, the, the inside, you can't really see it, but there is padding on the inside as well, which is really nice if you wanna toss other, other equipment in there. Um, you're not gonna, you have at least some measure of protection. So this is the tripod itself. It functions really nice. To use it, you just slide these things down this way. And I'm sorry for the angle, but this is the tripod that I'm using. Um, since I'm not home, I can't put my camera on a different tripod. So um, we're gonna have to bear with the angle here for a second and I'll, I'll show you around by hand here. Um, so, all right. So these are, the, these are the levers to adjust the angle of the legs, which is awesome. They're individually adjustable. That's huge um, because you can, stand it back that way. You can get exactly the angle that you need um, when you're shooting. Let's see, all right, sorry about that. So I'm gonna have to show it by hands a little shaky because this is my tripod. Um, so this is the head here. It's got three different adjustments. This one here is to loosen so that you can actually do the panoramic and you can see it's got degree markings there as well, which is awesome. You can crank that down. This one here um, loosens the the ball head so you can adjust it and, and get it to exactly the position that you want. This one up here is to loosen the hot shoe mount, or sorry, the, the tripod mount. Um, so you just screw that into the, into the bottom of your camera, um, which is hard to do one handed. I also wanted to show you, it's got this level on top, which is really cool too, because you can, if you loosen this, you can actually make sure that your picture is level um, before you shoot, which is super, super important um, if you're doing panoramic, which is what these ball heads are kind of made for. Um, so really, really nice quality head. Um, very, very well built, very smooth. If you're doing video, this is a really smooth turning um, head as well. This is to lock the, um, that piece. <laughs> this is to lock, lock the extension bar in place. Um, so you can get it exactly where you want. This cranks down nice and easy. I like that it has the big um, the big grips right here because it makes it easier to hit with your hand. Um, it can also be turned inside out. Let me pause for a second, reset my camera. I'm going to show you how to turn it, not inside out, upside down. So I'll be right back with you. All right, so the first thing that you're going to do if, to turn this upside down for macro shooting is you're going to just unscrew this piece right here on the bottom. So it comes off like so. This little rubber piece comes out. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is just loosen this piece here. So that it slides, the whole thing slides out. Now you can turn, you can put it in upside down. I want you to, to see this channel. Let's see if the lighting's terrible. I apologize for that. Um, so you can see that there's a channel right there on the side. That channel corresponds um, with a little peg right on that side so you can kind of see that oops sorry about my camera um so now all you're going to do is line that channel up with the pig like so slide it through yeah this is hard this is why i bought a tripod um slide it slide it through like this and then just crank it down so now you're in upside down 
So now you're in macro mode, um, mm -hmm. so that you can actually shoot upside down and really close. Again, it has this this other bar here that will be awesome for macro mode, um, and because these things are adjustable all the way out, you can really get down as close as you want. Everything is really smooth. The hinges are, are, are perfect, in my opinion. They're tight enough that you know that they're going to be stable, um, but they're easy enough to move as well. So there's the macro mode. Um, everything, like I said, everything on this, this tripod is really impressive. It goes up to 63 inches. It is aluminum, so it's not as heavy. And when it's not heavy, it's not as stable. Um, but the good thing is they give you this little um, sandbag hook right here so that you can you can actually use a sandbag and and stable it, stabilize it a little bit if you need to um, but i do i've done tons of filming on it and i'm really really impressed with this the size the weight and the price you get a lot of bang for your buck with this tripod i think you guys are going to be super happy with it so i'm going to give it five stars all right real quick before um before i, <laughs> I finish up the review i want to show you how to put this thing back into the case because you just have to pay attention to a couple little things like the position of the collar um, and the position of the head so just to show you how to fold it up so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to lift up um, this part here the head you're going to lift it all the way up to the top and you're going to tighten down this collar you can do this oops tighten it um, you can do this with this this head loose it works fine uh, but I find it e a little easier to tighten the collar just to hold everything in place you're gonna hit this little knob and you're gonna fold these all the way, the legs all the way backwards so I want to show you the way that the head is you see how that's bumping into each other you need to make sure that the head is turned so that that can fold so that that can fold in so you don't want it like this because it'll make it harder to get in so just turn the head that way same thing with this collar down here if the collar is turned so that it's it's hitting into one of these legs just give it a little turn um, so that's all you have to do then it slides right into the, the case and everything zips up nicely um, and I, now that I think about it sorry this this uh, review is a little out of order but um, I want to show you the one last feature, which is really cool, and that's that you can take one of these legs off. So let me show you this here. So this can be used as a monopod or a hiking stick. Uh, the monopod is what I actually use it for. It's really nice in a situation where you don't have space to set up an entire um, tripod. So you're going to look. It's, it's well labeled. You're going to look for this little uh, sticker that says release and lock. So release, you turn this way. Lock, you turn that way. Um, so go ahead and just release this. And that's awesome. So now with, with that, you can actually take the head off. So you're gonna hold this. Sorry, it's, I tightened it down a lot. So you're gonna hold the, the head in place this way and turn this collar that way. And once, you, once it's loose, you can pull the head off just like this. Um, so at this point, it's, you can either remove this bolt and collar here, or an easier way to do it is to, is to use this um, adapter piece here. So you can take the screw and either use the adapter piece or the screw. I'm going to show you the harder of the, the ways just so that you, you know, can figure the other ones out easier. Um, so you just loosen this screw up here and pull this collar out. I want you to see that this collar has a place for the bolt so the bolt fits right in there tightly and that's how you hold it on um, now you can just screw the whole thing um, into into this collar here sorry into the into the the leg base so um, I'm gonna need to loosen this up a smidge there you go and screw that in place now with that in place now you can put your head on and just tighten everything down. Give it a good crank. Everything tightens down really nice. It's really, really nice because they actually built in this strap to this as well. And of course you have the length all the way up, not quite 63 inches because you don't have this extension bar, but very, uh, very long, very easy to, uh, 
to get all of the footage that you need to. So really convenient. I love that the leg comes off with just a little extra feature um, just to make this thing even better. So like I said, I am really, really happy with this, this tripod. Super ecstatic about it. I think you guys are gonna love it. Um, it's lightweight, I think it's like three pounds. Extremely well made, very versatile, um, and it's stable. And it also has the sandbag um, if you're in really windy conditions because it is very lightweight. Um, so it's extremely well designed. I think you guys are going to be happy with it. So again, I'm going to give this thing solid five stars.